So here's another common question that we get. I have a new diagnosis of osteoporosis after bending over and emptying my dishwasher and fracturing three ribs. Uh-oh. I'm a 63-year-old female. I have my first injection of a venity next week. Do I need to pre-treat with anything? Any tips or advice? Thank you in advance. So this is a question that came out of a, a community uh, for osteoporosis. And obviously, this is somebody who's had a fracture. Uh, three rib fractures by bending over to empty the dishwasher is certainly concerning. But does she need the drug Avenity? Does she need to pre-treat with anything? Any tips or advice? This person is looking for someone who has been through this before, someone who has been on Avenity, someone who knows about osteoporosis reversal. This is a tough question to answer. So we get so many questions like this. And I want to walk you through how I counsel my patients who are potentially going to go on Avenity, uh, usually because they went on it before they met me, but who are going to go on Avenity, who are on Avenity, or considering other drugs like Forteo and Timlos, the anabolic drugs, which we occasionally use when the need arises. So stick around if you want to learn how to optimize these drugs and where I think they are truly indicated when it comes to my patients. Now, look, I get it. Being told to go on a drug is scary. What about the side effects? How long am I going to be on it? What's the long-term impact? When a drug like Avenity comes into play, what's the cost, right? Now, this is an extremely common situation because the standard of care in osteoporosis is to use pharmaceuticals. And again, I don't fault doctors for this. Their goal is the same as my goal, which is to reduce the risk of fracture. But their tools are different than my tools because the tools that they have to use in a seven-minute office visit is a pharmaceutical. I think as a result of that, drugs are widely overprescribed. So I'm not going to talk about any other drugs here. I'm going to talk about specifically Avenity. Now, Avenity is an interesting drug. It's newer on the market. You can only use it for a year. And it's an interesting drug because it does sort of two things. So it actually works a little bit like an anabolic, but it also works as an anti-resorptive. And I'll kind of get into the details of that later. But the situation with this particular person is that she's a 63-year-old woman. She had fractured ribs from bending over the dishwasher to unload something out of the dishwasher. So this tells me that she has poor bone quality. This tells me that really no matter what her T-score is, what her DEXA says, she needs to work on her bones. And remember that half of the fractures that occur as a result of quote unquote osteoporosis or poor bone quality occur in those with osteopenia. That's why osteopenia matters. But I don't want to scare you if you have osteopenia because osteopenia is also extremely common. The reason why half of the fractures occur in that group is just because that group is so much more massive than the group that is osteoporosis. So people will ask me out of the gate, well, should I take the drug? Well, the answer is maybe. It depends on a lot of factors. And those factors are going to include whether or not she has terrible bone, which it seems like she does. Has she had previous fractures? What is her capacity to improve her bone on her own? I think if someone has had these three rib fractures from bending over and pulling something out of the dishwasher, unless it was a 50 pound kettlebell, probably this person is going to need something relatively aggressive. So drug might be reasonable. But here's the question. If you're gonna go on a drug, does that mean that you have to choose drug or do nothing else? Is it, is it drug or reverse bone naturally? Like why can't we do both? And I think it makes a lot of sense when you think about the way that these drugs work. So let's talk about how she can optimize her time on the drug. Now, before we get to this optimization, let me just say that if you are in this group of people trying to figure out what the heck do I do with osteoporosis and you haven't been to our masterclass yet, please come do that. Come to our free masterclass. It's where I go through how to put together a bone health program and answer questions for about 15 to 20 minutes. Please do that. It's been a huge help for thousands and thousands of people. If you've already done that and you need more help, consider our HealthSpan Nation. HealthSpan Nation is our community of individuals looking to optimize their bone through a weekly topic-driven Q&A, community platform for interaction between each other, and a content vault, as well as discount codes on our recommended services and products. So really great community there if you're still looking for help. All right. So how do we optimize on this drug? Well, first of all, we got to know what the drug is. And this is really important because different doctors are going to use different drugs. Now, it's interesting that this, this, for this particular person, Avenity is their first choice. Now, I don't know who this doctor is, but it's not a wrong choice. But most doctors are going to default to a bisphosphonate drug. A bisphosphonate is a type of an anti-resorptive drug. Avenity is a little bit different. 
So Avenity or Romosozumab, as it's known uh, generically, it works by kind of a dual mechanism. So it actually works by stimulating bone formation. So this makes it an anabolic. It inhibits this thing called sclerostin, which is a protein that negatively regulates bone formation. And when you block that, it promotes the activity of osteoblasts, those cells that build bone. So that's awesome. I love anabolic drugs. But it also decreases bone resorption by impacting osteoclasts, remember those cells that break down bone. So it works through both sides, but it doesn't do it the same way linearly, meaning that the combined effect is over time, but initially it's anabolic and then it becomes catabolic. And when you look at the, um, the initial excitement around this drug and the duration at which they recommend its use, you can see that they only recommend it for 12 months because the benefit of bone building starts to go away and it becomes a uh, basically like another anti-resorptive. And so it only does the bone building part for a short period of time. Now, you also want to know if your drug is going to work or not. So what does the research say? Now, most of the bone health drugs out there have reasonable research. So Avenity has two big trials, the FRAME trial and the ARCH trial, and they do show significant improvement in bone mineral density, especially at the lumbar spine, not so much in the hip. The risk of new vertebral fractures in especially the FRAME study, for example, was down by 73% after one year of treatment. So does it work in the spine? Yeah, it sure does. Now, it also increases bone mineral density at the hip, but not as much, not nearly as impressive. And the reduction in fracture risk was only 38% compared to over 70% of the spine. And this probably has to do with the type of bone, the trabecular bone versus the cortical bone, et cetera. So some drugs are better at one than the other. So I mentioned too that this drug can only be used for 12 months. That's what the FDA has approved it for. I also mentioned that after six months, it no longer is anabolic, it's actually anti-resorptive. So that's why we don't recommend, or I don't use it, but for those that use it, they don't recommend it for more than 12 months. Additionally, there's concern around cardiovascular risk, and I can't really explain why. I don't know what the physiology is, uh, but for people that are elevated cardiovascular risk, sometimes this drug is avoided. From my perspective, this drug is a powerful anabolic drug. However, it has a very short window of, of impact. So it really is only going to be anabolic for six months, and then you need to follow it with something in the traditional model to help prevent that bone breakdown like a bisphosphonate. So what do we do with this drug? If this was my patient, what would I tell her to do? Well, generally what I tell people to do who are on uh, Avenity or want to stay on Avenity is that we need to focus on the anabolic window. If you're taking something that will increase osteoblast function, like P1 and P, it's going to drive bone building. Harness that thing and run with it. I say the same thing for Forteo and Temlos. So don't just take the drug and sit back. Take the drug, but then do the resistance training. Do the impact training. Do the things that you can do. Eat adequate protein. Get adequate nutrition. Limit the things that got you there in the first place, and this could be excessive cardiovascular workouts, fasting, dieting, no HRT. You want to use whatever the stimulus is that's happening in your body as a result of this drug and then ride it to the best of your ability. So this is why I don't tell people who are on drugs like Avenity or Forteo when they join our program to stop them. They, they're welcome to. But in general, we tell them to continue on the anabolic drugs because it's just going to amplify everything that we do. I had a patient just like that today. She was on Forteo, and even though her CTX was super high because she's not on estrogen and she's eight years out from menopause, her P1 and P was through the roof because she's on Forteo. And I said, look, you're, this Forteo is protecting you right now, but if we were to go through all the things that I'm saying, which included for her hormone replacement therapy, your CTX is gonna drop, then your ratio is gonna be massive. And so we can harness these drugs and use them to the best of our ability if we're gonna use them at all. And that's what I would recommend for this person and even consider potentially only using it for six months when that anabolic window ends. So then what about when the drug is done? Let's say you use it for six months or for 12 months, what next? Well, this is a really challenging thing because the traditional medical model, again, is gonna say you should go down the bisphosphonate pathway or the prolia pathway. We want you to, to not lose the bone that you've just built. But what I'll tell you about that is that then you're stuck on one of these drugs indefinitely unless you can find another way to prevent bone loss. And that's where building up your own program, especially while you're on the initial drug, is really helpful because what we're seeing is when people go on Forteo 
or another anabolic drug is that when they come off of it and they have put all the things in place, they maintain their bone just like someone who was never on Forteo. So there's no magic circumstance about coming off of Forteo or even Prolia. As long as you have a program in place, you're probably okay. But remember, we are checking these people very carefully. We're checking bone turnover markers. We're doing uh, frequent repeat imaging. So we're not just sticking our head in the sand and assuming that they're fine. So that's our experience with people who are on drugs like Avinity or Forteo. And I do think it's really valuable because a lot of people are on these drugs, really valuable to understand that you have to create a comprehensive program to harness the benefit of the drugs. I think we can do so much more with the drugs as long as we are doing all the other things. We don't need to do one or the other. And if you need help with that, consider some resources, consider HealthSpan Nation, consider being a patient, do whatever it takes in order to use this time wisely because it is limited. So that's a review of Avenity and what we recommend for it. And if you would like to consider some other videos, consider this one that I did on what I call the worst drug for osteoporosis or this one on our top three supplements for osteoporosis. Remember that osteoporosis isn't the end, but deciding to reverse it is the beginning. I'll see you in the next video.